Hello everyone. Welcome to the Science in School. In this video, we will learn about animal tissues. The animal cells are grouped together to form animal tissues. These tissues vary in their structure, function and origin. In animals, there are four types of tissues. First one is epithelial tissue, second one is connective tissue, third one is muscular tissue, fourth one is nervous tissue. Now we learn about the first type of animal tissue that is epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissues are covering or protective tissues in the animal body. Epithelium covers most organs and cavities within the body. It also forms a barrier to keep different body systems separate. Epithelial tissue cells are tightly packed and form a continuous sheet. They have only a small amount of cementing material between them and almost no intercellular spaces. The skin, the lining of the mouth, the lining of blood vessels, lung alveoli and kidney tubules are all made up of epithelial tissues. Different epithelia show different structures that correlate with their unique functions. Different types of epithelium tissues are 1. Simple squamous epithelial cells 2. Stratified squamous epithelium 3. Columnar epithelium 4. Ciliated columnar epithelium 5. Cuboidal epithelium 6. Glandular epithelium First type of the epithelium tissue is simple squamous epithelial tissue. Simple squamous epithelial cells are extremely thin and flat and form a delicate lining. The skin which protects the body is also made of squamous epithelium. It is found in the esophagus, the lining of the mouth, the walls of the blood vessels and in the lining of lung alveoli. Stratified squamous epithelium Skin of the epithelial cells are arranged in many layers to prevent water. Since they are arranged in a pattern of layers, this type of epithelium is called as stratified squamous epithelium. Columnar epithelium It looks like a pillar. Pillar like epithelium. It is consists of a single layer of tall slender cells. When absorption and secretion occur, as in the inner lining of the stomach and intestine, tall epithelial cells are present. Ciliated columnar epithelium. In respiratory tract, the columnar epithelial tissue has cilia which are hair like projections on the outer surface of epithelial cells. This type of epithelium is called ciliated columnar epithelium. Cuboidal epithelium It consists of a single layer of cube like cells. It is present in regions where secretion and absorption of substances takes place such as lining of kidney tubules and ducts of salivary glands. Glandular epithelium Epithelial cells often acquire additional specialization as gland cells which can secrete substances at the epithelial surface. Sometimes a portion of the epithelial tissue 
folds inward and a multicellular gland is formed this is glandular epithelium second type of animal tissue that is connective tissue the cells of connective tissue are loosely spaces and embedded in intercellular matrix the matrix may be jelly like fluid dense or rigid the nature of matrix differs in concordance with the function of the particular connective tissue types of connective tissues blood bone ligament tendon cartilage areolar tissue adipose tissues are connective tissues first type of connective tissue blood blood has a fluid matrix called plasma in which red blood corpuscles rbc white blood corpuscles wbc and platelets are suspended the plasma contains proteins salts and hormones blood flows and transports gases digested food hormones and waste materials to different parts of the body bone bone is another example of connective tissue it forms the framework that supports the body it is a strong and non flexible tissue bone cells are embedded in a hard matrix that is composed of calcium and phosphorus compounds ligament two bones can be connected to each other by another type of connective tissue is called ligament this tissue is very elastic and has considerable strength ligaments contain very little matrix and connect bone with bones tendons tendons are another type of connective tissue and it connect muscles to bone tendons are fibrous tissue with great strength but limited flexibility cartilage cartilage is another type of connective tissue and it has widely spaced cells the solid matrix is composed of proteins and sugars cartilage smoothens bone surfaces at joints cartilage is present in the nose ear trachea and larynx we can fold the cartilage of the ears but we cannot bend the bones in our arms areolar connective tissue areolar connective tissue is found between the skin and muscles around blood vessels nerves and in the bone marrow it fills the space inside the organs and helps in repair of tissues adipose tissues fat storing adipose tissue is found below the skin and between internal organs the cells of this tissue are filled with flat globules storage of fats also lets it act as an insulator third type of animal tissue muscular tissue muscular tissue consists of elongated cells also called muscle fibers this tissue is responsible for movement in our body muscles contain special proteins called contractile proteins which contract and relax to cause movement type of muscle cells 
first one is voluntary muscle or skeletal muscle or striated muscle second one involuntary muscles or smooth muscles or unstriated muscles third one is cardiac muscle tissue first type of muscle tissue is skeletal muscle tissue these muscles are attached to the skeleton and help in its movement under the microscope these muscles show alternate light and dark bands or striations because this tissue is also called as striated muscles we can move some muscles by conscious will muscles present in our limbs move when we want them to and stop when we so decide such muscles are called voluntary muscles the cells of this tissue are long cylindrical unbranched and multinucleate multinucleate mean having many nuclei involuntary muscle tissue the movement of food in elementary canal or the contraction and relaxation of blood vessels are involuntary movements we cannot really start them or stop them simply by wanting to do so smooth muscles or involuntary muscles control such movements the cells are long with pointed ends spindle shaped and having single nucleus they are also called unstriated muscles these muscles are found in iris of the eye uterus and branchi of the lungs cardiac muscle tissue the muscles of the heart show rhythmic contraction and relaxation throughout life these involuntary muscles are called cardiac muscles heart muscle cells are cylindrical branched and uninucleate fourth type of the animal tissue is nervous tissue cells of nervous tissue are highly specialized for being stimulated and then transmitting the stimulus very rapidly from one place to another within the body the brain spinal cord and nerves are all composed of the nervous system the cells of this tissue are called nerve cells or neurons a neuron consists of a cell body with a nucleus and cytoplasm each neuron has a single long part called the axon and many short branched parts called dendrites an individual nerve cell may be up to a meter long many nerve cells bound together by connective tissue make up a nerve the signals that passes along the nerve fiber is called a nerve impulse the functional combination of nerve and muscle tissue is fundamental to most animals the combination enables animals to move rapidly in response to stimuli animal tissues flow chart animal tissues are mainly four types epithelial tissues connective tissue muscular tissue nervous tissue epithelial tissues are six types they are simple squamous stratified squamous columnar ciliated columnar cuboidal and glandular connective tissues are blood bone ligament tendon cartilage 
एरियोलार एंड एडिपोज मस्कुलर टिश्यूज आर स्ट्रेटेड नॉन स्ट्रेटेड एंड कॉर्डियक टेक्स्टुअल क्वेश्चन नेम द टिश्यूज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मूवमेंट इन अवर बॉडी मस्कुलर टिश्यू इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मूवमेंट इन अवर बॉडी वॉट डज ए न्यूरॉन लुक लाइक न्यूरॉन आर नर्व सेल लुक्स लाइक ए स्टार शेप्ड सेल विथ ए टेल और ए लिटिल ट्री गिव थ्री फंक्शंस ऑफ कॉर्डियक मजिल्स द सेल्स ऑफ कॉर्डियक मजिल्स आर सिलेंड्रिकल ब्रांचड एंड यूनी न्यूक्लिएटेड कॉर्डियक मजिल्स आर इनवेलेंट्री मजिल्स दे कंट्रोल द कंट्रैक्शन एंड रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ द हार्ट वाट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ एरियोलर टिश्यू it provide support and helps to protect organs muscles and many other tissues